I love mornings like this. This view is just too... I just can't get enough. It's now 6.38. I want to show you one other view. That is just... I already saw the sunrise, so you guys missed the sunrise. Which kind of sucks for you guys, I guess, but... This view. And then the sun rises over there. Good morning, sun. Good morning, sun. Ah. Okay, so I finally made some more progress on my website and I had someone help me out here, Sir Thomas. So we met in New York a couple of months ago and Thomas is like pretty much the best, I don't know, designer, graphic designer, logo designer, website designer who I know. And we just had a, how long did we talk? Dude, we're now almost three hours on that call. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, we made, this helped me so much. And in terms of like how my website now look, I'm gonna let show you guys after this, but dude, thank you so much. You're welcome, of course. My hey, pleasure, appreciate anytime, that. Anytime. Okay, as I just said, um, had a call with Thomas and that was one of the most productive times I've ever had. I, I realized the power of facilitation because like I was, you know, I was, I was building my website and I was trying to do everything like design it and come up with the copy and figure out the structure and like what needs to be included and what not and how to, and so, and I don't know shit about any of these things. And so you're basically like, you're trying to navigate something where you don't even know, like where have you, where you have no experience navigating, and so having someone who has done it and who has been there and who knows what the fuck he's talking about, just like facilitating that, helped me so help me clear up things so much. And like he's a friend of mine. He I like we just hopped on a call for two hours, three hours, talked about these things. I gave him some. I sent him PayPal him some money for compensation. But it's it's like nowhere near what you would need to pay if you had some someone like professional. I mean, he is a professional. He just happened to also be my friend, and we also happen to that I help him out with Instagram. But that's the power of having fucking talented friends. But let me show you how we did did progress. So we had that already. And then the next is kind of like this will be the section of establishing the problem. Have you tried building a personal brand only to realize it takes a lot of time and dedication and so you end up posting sporadically. This will be a video of Gary Vee where he talks about like basically giving us credentials and good, we're here to fix that. Step one, step two, step three, obviously the copy and the pictures still need to be updated but this is basically our solution. Then here, grow your audience, increase reach and influence and drive action, boom. Then questions and fact is the next section where, and, and it will be like a drop down menu. It's called accordion style menu. Then what people say, testimonials, boom, boom. Meet the team. We're a team of practitioners, basically live and breathe social media and personal branding. Boom, the team. And then call to action. This will be a different image. Just wanted to kind of like, I like this color scheme and then sounds good. Duh, 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 duh. Boom, call to action. This is just random shit that's still there. And that's then the footer. And it's like company, boom, boom, boom. And then obviously this thing. So yeah, I just made in two hours, I made more progress on this than probably in the last week, which is incredible. Well, actually the last week I didn't really make any progress because there was New Year's and like Singapore and all that stuff and meeting the girl. So, but now I'm gonna get back to that. but I'm still mind blown of how much progress we made. It's incredible. Oh my God, this feels so good. Okay. I just thought of something and it's that maybe it doesn't make so much sense to constantly figure out how not get distracted. Well, so on the one hand, you want to figure out how to optimize towards not getting distracted. But on the other hand, I feel like you will always to some extent get distracted. That's just like the name of the game. Like 
you'll get better and you'll get more fo focus and you can put processes into place that these things won't happen as much, but it will still happen. And instead of just focusing of not judging yourself, which is like, it's, it's a thing I'm struggling with, but it's also like, what does it even mean? I feel like don't judge yourself. It's, it's being thrown around so much and it's like, maybe instead of like focusing on not judging yourself or you know getting distraction it's more like being more intentional of then channeling those distractions into like some kind of inspiration like let's say you get distracted on like instagram and you watch um like random instagram videos like try to use that to then like get new content ideas or if you like end up watching random videos on YouTube. It's like, okay, cool, what did I just learn in the last 30 minutes? And it's like more, more so afterwards. It's like in the moment, obviously, you, you don't know because that's the definition of being distracted, like you don't notice it. But then when like after 30 minutes, you're like, oh shit, I just spent 30 minutes watching random YouTube videos, then at least taking the step of like, okay, now, what did I learn by watching these YouTube videos? What is something that I didn't plan to, you know, broaden my horizon on? Because obviously, like, you didn't plan the distraction. But what can I take away from this? I think that might help, maybe. I'll see. Hi. I don't remember when I was this tired the last time. It's 11 p.m. Oh. oh, I think the past couple of days I haven't had have gotten optimal sleep and I mean that and and I had a pretty good workout like a pretty good whoa oh, oh my god my shoulder hurts <laughs> ow oh my god I can't even... Oh, fuck! Oh. Yeah. Today was a good day though. It was productive. I had an amazing workout. I actually feel like... I'm getting better at like... Hitting the spot in the gym. There is a certain point when you're working out where... Pain turns into pleasure. So... The f I felt like for me the first step was to work out to a point where actually like we like where it's painful because in the beginning you're just like mm -hmm, I'm showing up I'm going to the gym you know just here to you know check off the box and you're just you know you're just breaking a sweat you're just doing something so you can feel good about yourself of going to the gym then the next step is to actually you know work hard and push yourself and that means that if you're lifting the weights or like, you know, doing cardio, that you actually go into a point where mentally and physically it starts like hurting. Like not to the point where it's then turning into like chronic pain, right? Like that's unhealthy. But like, that's what you're doing when you're working out, right? Like you're destroying your muscles so then it grows back to become stronger. So you first have to get to the point where it starts hurting and then once you push past that there's a point where there's this weird pleasure you're getting out of like enduring the pain and you just feel like you can keep going um and my last three works out which is like incredible if i would f have to find a name for it i would say orgasmic even though it sounds crazy but you you your mind or at least my mind just goes completely blank like there was not a worry in the world there was not a thing in the world that was on my mind except the one thing that I was doing at the moment and that's an incredible feeling <sighs> yeah but yeah extremely tired just got off a um, just got off a client call and actually I'm kind of like s uh, coaching my sister into becoming my assistant, which is super weird, but, ow, ow, ow. But so I just had Jay who's doing 
kind of the reports right now. Teach my sister how to do the reports so she can start doing them and then I'm gonna outsource some admin tasks to my big sister. Or at least try, like we're just gonna experiment with it. Um, and now I got a post on my LinkedIn. So, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, see you tomorrow. Hey. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why now? Holy shit, I just want.